Welcome back to Peralta Matters. I am your host, James Calhoun. Our next guest is Carlos McLean, a counselor and instructor with the Peralta Colleges for a long time. He's also the MAP Project Director. Carlos, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Today we're talking budget, um, and specifically in your capacity, I want to talk about what the budget's done faculty-wise, as also as well as as a counselor, you've seen what it's done to the students. Let's start with you as a faculty member. How is this? Well, this budget affecting you? Okay, as a faculty member, and that's both counseling and instruction, mm -hmm. what I found is that our numbers have gone down, mm. way, way down. Okay. Our numbers of students has increased tremendously. And as a result, our classes are full, mm. our counseling offices are full, the wait times become extended. Mm. We have a lot of students who, thank goodness, are very patient. <laughs> but what is happening is that the level of service has got to go down. You can only serve so many people and only do so much at one time. Mm -hmm. With regards to instruction, the number of class sections that are being offered has been reduced. Our classes are jam-packed, and I have no idea where it's going to go from here other than to turn students away, and that hurts me all yeah. the way to the heart. Yeah. As an instructor, what is the, the, uh, the crusade, or, or better yet, what's the, what's the challenge meeting you all now uh, going forward, now that we know there's no money, now that we know there are no outlets, is there some found, newfound way to teach, newfound way to understand, newfound way to reach it so that we're not limited to well, throwing these students away? I, I don't think there's any newfound way to do this. Mm -hmm. I think the reality is if we're going to prepare our population, which means our students, mm -hmm. to lead the world, to take positions that are going overseas, mm -hmm. then somehow we've got to have fund and funding that comes into the colleges and gives these students the training, right. the education, and the preparation to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're not going to do anything. What, as a counselor, have you seen to bolster that, to help put these students in those positions? Is there something collectively that the PFT is doing or collectively that instructors are, are, are putting their heads together to say, you know what, we're going to spearhead this, this new cause to, 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 to make it so our, our, our kids are competitive? Well, what I have found is that instructors and counselors are probably working together more now than ever. Mm. With classes being full, with our students coming in at varying uh, degrees of preparation, What's happening is that we're finding that we've got to work together. We've got to come out, somehow find out how the services can be delivered, how we can get the students in the classes, right. and then we need to make sure that after that happens that they're successful. Otherwise, they flunk out, they drop out, they leave, right. and we haven't done our job. Exactly. There is a definite component to uh, what you do at Merritt College, and that is the MAP. Uh, situation, I'm sorry, the Maximum Achievement Program or project. Project, right. Uh, let's discuss that in two terms. One, is it affected by the budget? And two, uh, how are you not? Or how are you achieving the, the level of success you are without being affected by the budget? Well, that's a very special question. <laughs> and I say special because it's not affected by the budget mm -hmm. in that our project has been funded by the Department of Education, U.S. Department of Education. Okay. And so that gives us monies to work with that we otherwise would not be able to do. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we're able to, I say, attack mm -hmm. this problem that we have with African-American males mm -hmm. um, doing so poorly in school. Nice. Um, we are able to work with retention. We're able to work with persistence, and then the support service and the wraparound services, we can do just about anything we want because we have that luxury of having a few more funds, a few more dollars mm -hmm. in order to work with them. And as a result, what has happened is that our numbers are changing. Mm -hmm. When we first received the grant, overall, the um, African-American male success rate, mm -hmm. GPA, was approximately 1.6. Mm -hmm. For our project, after one semester, the GPA for the African-American men in our project was 2.4. But 2.4 doesn't tell the full story. Okay. What's more important to know is that we have probably a significant number of students who have made the dean's list, which means that they are the 3.25 or higher. Mm -hmm. We have students in the um, Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society. Mm -hmm. And we have students who are transferring. And right these on. students are transferring with full academic scholarships. Right so 
That's just some of what we're doing. Right, right. What is the, what is the, the, the basis of a map situation or a, a maximum achievement project like this that could become a model? That become that could become something that we interpret to all colleges and campuses. As we talked off camera, you have a women's you know division right. of that coming up. How can this be a new way, or not even a new way, but a new approach now to attack some of these these financial issues? Well, you, you mentioned becoming a model. Um, the uh, U.S. Mm -hmm. the Secretary of Education Arne Duncan mm -hmm. visited the campus about three weeks ago, right. and after he had a chance to hear our presentation, mm -hmm. and hear the presentation by two of our students. Right on. Not even all of them. But no, two. just two. That was it. <laughs> it was amazing that in his press conference right after that, he did mention the fact that MAPS should be considered, and they're looking into it, of becoming a national model. So that says a whole lot about what we're doing. It says a whole lot about Peralta Colleges, about yes, Mary, about Carlos McLean. Let's well, it says more about our students than Carlos, understand. and I want to make right. sure that I everybody that. understands that, that because is true. if our students don't succeed, then our program doesn't succeed, right. and then Carlos McLean doesn't, doesn't succeed. succeed. Right. Right. One more quick question about budget, and um, this again ties into what you said about the student service part of it. How is the campus morale, or, or how, how, how are you combating the campus morale when you're seeing frustration on your students, frustrating on, on the, the, the students you either instruct or counsel on, you know, how they're going to continue to be encouraged to stay in school when everything's being cut left and right. Well, that's the frustrating part. You can give them a lot of words. You can give them a lot of verbal support. Right. But what's more important is how do we follow it up. Hmm. If a student comes and says, I haven't been in school since the seventh grade, and I'm learning how to read, wow. and they go into a class with 40 or 50 students, we're doing a disservice. And they don't know how to ask for help until we show them that, you know, you don't have to fail, but there is a right. way that you can do this. There is a way that you could be successful. We see a little bit, but when we look at the numbers, it's hard to combat. Mm -hmm. And so somehow we've got to be able to find ways in order to open our doors and keep our doors open mm -hmm. to the population that comes. If you see us sending folks away and the CSUs are sending folks away, and even some of our private institutions are sending folks away. And the California Community Colleges are supposed to be open door. Right. Then open door means that there's going to be resources there mm. to what? Open the doors, right. keep them open, provide the support, provide the instruction, yeah, yeah. and then help them move on to the next level. If we mm. don't do that, then we're not doing our jobs. And somehow somebody's going to lose and our mm. jails become filled. Mm. Mm. So you've got your call to do something that matters. You understand? Again, that's a, that's a, a, a good point that you mentioned about the ability to keep these doors open as a community college, because that's what we are here to do. Great. Again, you're watching Peralta Matters. I'm your host, James Calhoun. This is Carlos McLean, Merritt College counselor and instructor, and also the program director or project director for MAP, which is Maximum Achievement Program at Merritt College. Uh, thank you for coming on the show, Carlos. It's been a pleasure and an education. Well, I, I hope so, I and I it. thank you. Oh, my pleasure.